Hi, so I was looking through speedrun.com at some of the speedruns people have been doing for Hearts of Iron 4, and noticed that the majority of them involved either capitulating Poland as Germany, or forming some kind of formable nation within the game, and that made me realise something. One thing that I've been trying to do since the release of Poland is form the Midzimorze faction by completing the Between the Seas concept as quickly as possible. Since there are some interesting requirements that you have to do to specifically complete the focus, I thought it could have been a somewhat interesting speedrunning thing, and I'm going to give it a go right now. So, let's head into Poland and see just how quickly we can get the Between the Seas concept. Um, I've got two ideas that we can work with. One of them involves industry, and one of them involves annexation. So 1936, all standard, all historical, and Iron Man. Off we go. Okay, so to start off, all we have to do for this one is build up our industry as best as we can, so that the major country we're trying to beat, France, has less factories than we do. Luckily, it's not too much of a race. Um, I feel like we have better industry focuses than France does, and they're going to be focusing on their politics, well, we don't really care about that, so I think we have an advantage. Let's begin with four-year plan. Of course, because I'm not going to war, I don't need to worry about any military stuff. Um, everything is going towards ensuring that we can get our 700k soldiers and our industry. Let's hope we get a good date. My build order consists of one sieve and three mills. Uh, the sieves are going to be helpful, of course, to build new things, but mills are just so much cheaper that... In order to get enough factories to beat France, you have to very quickly switch over to the cheapest thing you can afford. Okay, four year plan gets us the construction speed, and next we get central region strategy, because the two sieves you get from it are just too good. With the Rhineland remilitarized, I'm immediately going to clamp down on Danzig. Now, this is going to start the whole power struggle for Danzig thing, which is kind of something we need to worry about, but what I'm really going for is the 75 political power. That's going to be super useful because that's going to let us get up to partial mobilization. In the meantime, we should probably get some horses going. Okay, super early partial mob. This is basically the core of everything I need. With early partial mob, you can do so much building. Okay, I think I'm going to skip ahead now to the next interesting part. Um, basically, all I'm going to do is build up these focuses, get down, make sure I get agrarian reform so I don't get a strike, and continue to build mills once I've got this first sieve. So, I'll see you then. Okay, so some time's gone by. Um, I'm working on my agrarian reform, so there's no peasant strike. I'm going to move immediately up to limited conscription, because I've only been saving political power. And for all of the horses that I've been training, 48 of them, I'm going to switch them all over to become infantry divisions to use up even more manpower. Yes. Perfect. So some more time has gone by, um, it's heading closer towards 1938, and my target is to get the focus done in the summer of 38. France is definitely still higher than me on sieves, um, but we're sort of beating them on mills now, so that's something if nothing else. One thing we are going to do though is ban the Nazi party. This is because doing this focus allows us to remove the international city status from Danzig and that's going to give us the factories they have inside. In case you didn't know, I found that the easiest way to do the Danzig stuff is just to repeat the raid the resistance bases. I think everything else is, while it's good, this one has given me the best results for this particular run. And in addition, integrating the Gdansk industries gets rid of embargoed economy which is important because embargoed economy is five consumer goods, and that's all going towards building more factories, more factories become a major, become a major, complete the focus. Since I've basically done every industry focus at this point, all I can do now is waste time until hopefully at the start of every month, there's a chance that I will have more factories than France, and it will tick over on the major countries list, and I'm hoping we're going to get it for May. Uh, uh, red alert, we did get it for May. Uh, we are officially a major country, which means we can take the between the seas concept. We must have just gotten more factories than France. It's so strange how it ticks over every month specifically, so this isn't a live feed. So even if France does overtake me, if the month has already passed and I'm going to complete the focus, it shouldn't matter, it's not going to cancel. We just have to survive, um, 
what, two more months? The end of May and possibly the end of June. And yep, still a major in June. Oh my god, we did it. And Romania refuses to join. For goodness sakes, it ticked over a day, but it did complete on the 30th of June. I was just too slow to click for it. Ah, never mind. So, 30th of June is what we have got for the Between the Seas concept for the industrial path. Now let's see what you can do if you go down the other path. Let's do this run, the Between the Seas concept for real this time. We're going to do it not by building up a huge industry, but by going down assemble the Regency Council, getting down a Romanian king, and annexing Romania to get all of their, you know, sieves and factories and stuff. And hopefully that should just be enough to pip us over the mark. They also come with a big army, so two birds, one stone. Let's assemble a Regency Council. With the 5th of November act done, nice and spry, we can move over to industry until the correct candidate presents themselves, which is going to take a little while. Friedrich Christian claims the throne. I'm afraid you're not the man for the job. Um, for the most part, everything in my fibre is telling me I need to go for the sieves, but I think, and I'm uncertain, but I think filling the railway gaps is the correct course to go. The Habsburg candidate. Uh, tempting, but still not who we're after. Partial mob online. So we fill the railway gaps done. I'm hoping our next candidate will arrive. Crown Prince Michael of Romania. Which means we can immediately get working on getting Romania linked to us. I'm about to reach 150 political power and it's very tempting to get a war industrialist. But uh, now that we've got the Romanian decisions, it's all about propaganda. With our monarchist militants done, we've been saving up some guns for that, it's probably time we deal with this peasant strike before something goes terribly wrong. Uh, luckily, we've already got agrarian reform, which is why doing the railway gap was important to do earlier. In the meantime, I'm just going to focus on doing these decisions and we should be good. Okay, I'm hoping that's going to be all the decisions I need to ensure that we can flip Romania. Agrarian reform complete. Actually, with that said and done, we should probably start training those horses. We do need to have um, 700,000 men in the field after all. So, do you think they're going to accept peacefully, or do you think there's going to be a civil war? It's a civil war. <laughs> um, my only hope is that these guys have no troops, so in a matter of days the war will be over. I'm not going to pick a focus. Yeah, it looks like it's going pretty well. A nice one week war. Can't complain with that. With that being said, let's merge the internal governments. And that is a 1937 May merged internal governments. Ah, there's the war industrialist I've been waiting for. Oh, goodness me. Factories out of nowhere. Uh, good, good, good. The Kingdom of Poland, Romania. Now, you can't complain with that. No, I think it goes without saying, we're probably not going to be strong enough yet to do uh, any of the focuses we need to, but we can probably make a start on some of these down here. I think it's going to be the case now that because France and I are so close, we kind of have the lower end of the same amount of sieves. I've got more mills, it's just the dockyards I'm behind on. At the beginning of every month, I'm going to have to check if I do count as a major so that we can decide whether we're going to go for it or not. So how are we looking for the month of October? We are not a major power. I think we can go with a staunch aristocrat and that's going to give us minus 5% in those crucial final moments. So with any luck, my hope, my hope and prayer is that at the start of the new year, we are going to be the major country overtaking France on January 1st, 1938. I'll be very sad if we're not. Okay, it's January 1st. Who is a major power? Why am I not listed? Come on, it, it's me, Poland, Romania. Okay, February 1st, 1938. Surely, yes, the Kingdom of Poland, Romania is a major power. We've overtaken France, and that should mean the Between the Seas concept is now available. Now, the big problem is 
we're very fragile right now. A lot of our sieves are coming from uh, trading and they can fluctuate all the time. So we really need to make sure that we're getting our mill trading as high as possible so we can stay above France. So when it takes over to March, there is a chance that we might get the focus cancelled uh, because France has reclaimed their position as the seventh highest industry in the world. But not today. Goodness me, this is close. We're like really battling it out here. Come on. The 31st of March. Uh, this is it. This is the breaking point of the video. Either we are a great power tomorrow or we are not a great power tomorrow. One day in it. Yes! The Midzimorje has been created. And there it is. Um, so what day was that completed on? The 2nd of April. Good stuff. So that's my record. Um, you could definitely do this faster though. There must be a faster way of doing this. Um, if you can think of a faster way of doing this, feel free to do it. Or if you want, start the speedrunning category. I just did this for fun and I just wanted to show off that I think there's an other interesting ways of speedrunning the game where you aim to complete focuses. There were a couple of others I had in mind too. Um, in Mexico, I was thinking that you could redeem Aslan, uh, see how quickly you could do that by the in-game day. The other one I had in mind was uh, going down the Manchuco tree and seeing how fast you can get the claim the Mandate of Heaven, also forming the Chinese Empire. So kind of a formable nation, but specifically how quickly can you complete focuses? So I hope you enjoyed this peaceful, non-aggressive <laughs> game of Hoi, where I made a faction in 38. Hopefully this is interesting. Um, if you liked, feel free to like, feel free to subscribe, and I'm going to go drink my tea. What they don't see is how many failed attempts there were at doing this. <laughs> that's the that's the real thing people don't realise. <sighs> Bye.